Yeah. Marvel's Spider-Man lets us switch between Peter and Miles freely, and just like the GTA 5 days, there's a chance something epic will happen in transition. Each clip is only around 3 seconds long. Today we're going through all 30 animations when switching between the two web slingers. From bird attacks to spider stare-offs. Let's do this. Let's get the boring ones out of the way first. The majority of the time, the Spider-Men will simply swing in and either land, drop down, or continue swinging by. Yet, depending on where you are on the map, the switch can activate other things. Like this, Peter can be drinking his coffee. When blinking you'll miss it, a flock of birds will dump that hot beverage all over his groin. And Miles doesn't have much of a better time either, because one of those flying rats straight up takes his tasty beverage. Both Spider-Men demonstrate some impressive feats of skill. Miles will flip into action in epic style, while Peter can be found up high showing his strength with a single arm handstand. How the Spider-Men use their downtime tells us a great deal about them. Miles is constantly checking his phone on the move, while Peter will make a spiderweb hammock to read messages in private. He's been Spider-Man much longer than Miles and knows the tricks of the trade. Well, I thought he did until this animation popped up. Pete can also be found almost falling asleep perched on a high building. Everything okay? Miles and Peter can also be seen interacting with New Yorkers. Miles shares a wave and a joke, while Peter will give directions to tourists. He also has has time to take a selfie with some too. And on very rare occasions, he'll stroll straight into a superfan with many different reactions. <laughs> Miles has an ultra rare animation of him eating a bagel. He'll even lift the mask to take a bite. This is kind of an Easter egg for the Spider-Verse skin. Remember the time Miles threw a bagel and changed the multiverse forever? He should have eaten it, just like this version of MM. What's up, New York? I'm sure you've all seen Peter doing his sit-ups moments before being back on duty, but have you seen him juggle? Man's got skills, whilst Miles would prefer to listen to some beats on his headphones. Some moments are not as glamorous as others, and some are downright sad. Both of the Spider-Men can be seen visiting their fallen loved ones at the cemetery. The sacrifices made by Jeff and Aunt May will never be forgotten. The final four animations are more spider-related, as both Peter and Miles will spend a moment chasing down a wandering spider-bot. Great for a massage. Miles takes this one step further at green spaces. He can be found up close and personal, staring at a real spider. A freaking huge one in Central Park. Anyone from New York here? Are the spiders there really that big? And finally, here's the most unexpected transition I witnessed from Peter to Miles. Check it out. What's up, New York? Okay, you weren't expecting to see that today, were you? I have fall damage on, and it's true. Miles Morales will leap from the top of the Empire State Building and literally will just fall until you take over. And I didn't. I'm Adam, it's been a pleasure. Subscribe for more Spider-Man secrets and Easter eggs coming very soon. See ya!